In this video, we're going to focus on factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient that is not 1. So here's an example. Let's say if you have this expression. 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. How would you factor this expression? So what you want to do is you want to multiply the leading coefficient, 2, and the constant term. 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 6. Now you want to find two numbers that multiply to negative 6, but that add to the middle term negative 5. So if we multiply 2 and negative 3, that doesn't add to negative 5, that adds to negative 1. But if we multiply 6 and negative 1, that adds to positive 5. But if we change the sign, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, and negative 6 times 1 still multiplies to negative 6. So these are the numbers that we want. Now once you find those two numbers, what you want to do is you want to replace the middle term, the negative 5x, with negative 6x plus 1x. As you can see, the value of the expression remains the same. Negative 6x plus 1x is equivalent to negative 5x. Now at this point we can factor by grouping. That is, you want to factor the GCF from the first two terms separately from the last two terms. And you can tell when you can factor by grouping. Notice that the ratio of the coefficients of the first two terms is the same ratio as the last two terms. For example, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. Once you see that, if you see that same ratio, then you know you can factor by grouping. What is the GCF, or the greatest common factor, in the first two terms? That is between 2x squared and negative 6x. What is the greatest factor that we can remove? The greatest common factor is 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. Negative 6x divided by 2x is negative 3. Now, in the last two terms, there's no greatest common factor that we can take out. So whenever you see that, just take out a 1. 1x divided by 1 is x. Negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. So notice that we have a common factor, x minus 3. If we factor out x minus 3 from the first term, all we have left over is 2x. If we take it out from the second term, we just have the 1 on the outside. So this is the answer. So 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 can be factored to this expression, x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. Now let's say if you have another problem, let's say it's 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. How would you factor this expression? Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to multiply 6 and negative 10. 6 times negative 10 is negative 60. And we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 60 but that add to 11. So let's make a list. Negative 60 divided by 1 is negative 60. If we divide it by 2, it's negative 30. Negative 60 divided by 3 is negative 20. Divided by 4, negative 15. Divided by 5, that's negative 12. Divided by 6, negative 10. Now notice that 4 plus negative 15 adds up to negative 11. So if we change the signs, negative 4 plus 15 adds up to positive 11, but it still multiplies to negative 60, so that works. So let's replace 11x with negative 4x plus 15x. And then we could factor by grouping. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms. So we could take out a 2x. 6x squared divided by 2x 
is equal to 3x. Negative 4x divided by 2x is negative 2. And for the last two terms, what do you think the GCF is? What is the greatest common factor? So we could take out a 5x, well not an x, but just a 5 from 15 and 10. 15x divided by 5 is 3x. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. You want to take out a factor that's going to make these two factors um, to be the same. If they're the same, then you know you're on the right track. So now let's factor out 3x minus 2. If we take away 3x minus 2 from the first term, we're left with 2x. Now, if we remove it from the second term, we're left with 5. So if we factor out 3x minus 2 from the equation, we have 2x plus 5 left over. So the stuff that's on the outside goes into the second parentheses. Therefore, this is the answer. This is how you can factor this expression. It's 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 5. For the sake of practice, let's work on another one. How would you factor 12x squared plus 11x minus 15? So now we're dealing with bigger numbers, so it might take a little longer, but we can still do it. So first, let's multiply the leading coefficient by the constant term. What is 12 times negative 15? So let's multiply by hand. 5 times 2 is 10, so we need to write the 0, carry over the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 1 is 6. Now we need to add a 0. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. So now we can add. So 15 times 12 is 18. So therefore, 12 times negative 15 is negative 180. Now what two numbers multiply to negative 180, but add to 11? So we know that 12 times negative 15 multiplies to negative 180. But to find the factors of 180, which is a very large number, it helps if you find the factors of 12 and 15. 15 is 5 and 3. 12 is 4 and 3. So these are prime numbers, but 4 can be broken into 2 and 2. So let's make a list. We know 180 divided by 1 is negative 180. If we divide it by 2, it's negative 90. 3 goes into it because 3 is a factor. If we divide it by 3, it's negative 60. 4 goes into it, it's a factor. If you divide it by 4, it's going to be negative 45. Notice that if you divide by 4, all you have is these 3 left over. 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 3 is 45. So we know 4 times 45 is 90. If we divide it by 5, then we have 3 times 3 times 4 left over. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36. So 5 times 36 is 180. Now the next highest factor that goes into 180 is 6. Notice that 2 times 3 is 6. And 5 times 3 times 2, the other factors, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 3 is 30. So 6 times 30 is 180. Now we don't have 7 as a factor, so 7 is not going to work. 8 is not a factor. However, 9 is a factor. Notice that 3 times 3 is 9. And what remains is 5 times 2, which is 10, times 2, which is 20. So we can write 9 times negative 20 is 180. Now we could continue. Another factor of 180 is the next one appears to be 12. 3 times 2 is 6, times 2 is 12. And what remains is 5 and 3, which is 15. And we can see those numbers here. So the next one that we could write is 12 and negative 15. But there's a number before 12. That's 10, which I almost forgot. 2 times 5 is 10. And 3 times 3 times 2 is 18. 
So we also have 10 and negative 18. At this point, we can probably find something that differs by 11. Notice that 9 and negative 20 differs by negative 11. So we need to change it and make it negative 9 plus 20 because that differs by positive 11. So now that we have our two factors, we can factor this expression. Now let's replace 11x with negative 9x and 20x. The order in which you replace it doesn't matter. So if you put the 20x in front and the 9x second, you will still get the same answer. So now let's factor by grouping. In the first two terms, let's take out a 3x. 12x squared divided by 3x is 4x. Negative 9x divided by 3x is negative 3. We could take out a 5 from 20 and 15. 20x divided by 5 is 4x. Negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. So now if we factor out 4x minus 3, the stuff that is on the outside will go into the next parentheses. So this is the answer. It's 4x minus 3 times 3x plus 5.